Well, uh, I think that a journal has a twofold uh, scope. The first one is, of course, to uh, to publish science, so to to disseminate it, and the second one is to uh, build a community around it. Well, you know, I think it was a, always a very good journal. I published one of my first neuroscience articles in there shortly became, before it became an academic uh, editor. And um, I think that uh, it has a lot of breadth. I think it's the breadth and I think it's the reputation that, that the uh, reviews and the process are really thorough. So I'm quite proud, uh, both as an editor as an, and as an author uh, in Plus One, that the, the standards of the research are very high. I think it's a great journal. I mean, that's why I accepted to be an academic editor for, for it, because I believe in the mission. Oh, I think Plus One is absolutely necessary for the scholarly ecosystem because of its open access. So, um, it makes a huge difference. Plus One has influenced the other journals to be open access. Uh, it's important because we are publicly funded and the big thing is that we need to have that information accessible to others and we need the data to be accessible to others because it's the public that's funding it and the public that should get the benefit from that. Uh, at the beginning, it was the only journal which could guarantee uh, a wide scope, uh, uh, free of perceived impact and just based on the solid science. Plus One is open access and it's also, I would say, mega journal, which I think is good because it allows us, allows someone to publish a paper that might not exactly fit within the niche of another journal. To me, the, the, uh, uh, the best part of PLOS One is that it doesn't look at, is this sexy, is this new, is this important, is this going to have impact? Uh, the only criterion is, is it good science? And that PLOS One does, and does very well.